Thomas and this is Vagelis and we are from Wolfhard and we are here to talk about strongman training, guitar playing and stuff. People call you the beast and probably with obvious reasons, the size number one, the strength number two, because you have very like extreme hobby in metal scene and that is strongman training and competing. But how did it all start? When did you got into training in general? I was really enjoying uh, heavy sports, so at the age of uh, 12 I started boxing and kickboxing and I did that for like 10 years, competing amateur as an amateur and then I had a break and then I started working out um, on a regular gym for like 8 years and uh, the past 2 or 3 years I'm uh, more focused into the strong. Okay. okay. And the martial arts, it's pretty obvious that uh, Bagelis is also my bodyguard, not just my guitar player. But, uh, uh, gym training is, is pretty like a trending thing and everybody seems to be going to gym every day according to my Instagram at least. <laughs> but uh, but uh, how does it differ? How does a strong man training differ from uh, like a regular gym and weightlifting? Now there's a, a lot of common things of course. Uh, if you want to train strong you will go straight to bodybuilding and then you have to add some, uh, uh, some events call them events because you have to have log lift frames, uh, jokes and stuff like that that you cannot find them on a regular gym yeah. and it's really hard because you have to start pulling and pushing and throwing them down so it's really really difficult to be able to have <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah. I, I felt something in my bag. I didn't know what was that. So I didn't want to it was another beast. <laughs> beast number two. From the east. Yeah, beast from the east. <laughs> But yeah, I, I could imagine that the, the training equipment is the, the, the huge difference because you don't find these round stones and log lifting stuff and that kind of stuff in, in any regular gym. So you need to have very precise places to be able to train. Yeah, and uh, uh, that's the number one thing. And the second is that normally, you know, all the uh, trainers uh, they won't like they would not would not like to teach you how to do weird stuff like that because yeah. it's so dangerous for them. But um, it shows after so many years that it's not that dangerous. If yeah. you're a little, bit, a little bit careful and you know how to deal with that, if you do it for the first time or the first two times, it might be really difficult but, and dangerous, but later on it becomes more natural. Yeah. Yeah. Technique is like in every way. Like, yeah. If you have like personal trainer, you did an internet course of uh, two weeks, <laughs> you, you shouldn't advise anybody to do any strongman stuff. You will get the eight pack abs. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, yeah. Have you competed as a strongman already? Yes, I did. Unfortunately, in Greece, we don't have too many competitions, but we had only one. How did you do? I, did I you was. Win? Did uh, you win? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. We brought the gold to okay. the world for family. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That. That. Like. I feel that I won also. Yeah. I, and most important is, it, it was in the open weight class. Yeah. So it yeah. Was, a hundred kilograms body weight and above. Okay, that's good. So I was competing with guys weighing like 160, 140. Yeah. You know, big guys, yeah. really big guys. I was weighing like 102. I'm so. glad that we won. Yes. I'm glad that we won. Team Wolfhard. Yeah. Won. <laughs> How much does the strongman training uh, affect the playing? Like uh, for me, when I go to gym and if I do like a heavy back workout or arms, forearms don't really play yeah. well when it comes to guitar playing, like yeah. on the same night and the next day I can really feel it in the playing, but how does it go with you? I try not to work too much on the grip, I don't, yeah. I never go heavy without straps, yeah. when I use the straps I have no issues at all with my forearms. forearms. So you use, you, use, you use straps so you are competing in the women's league? Oh. Just, uh, I'm not going to put that on. I'm how, how, that on. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you lift on the deadlift? What? What's your PR on the deadlift? We are in a hurry, so we don't have time to. <laughs> but we need to focus on. Cut, cut, cut. We need to focus. Uh, what about the touring? How big of an obstacle that is for you? Naturally, I, I would imagine it's quite a bit. Yeah, I usually don't train when I am tour. When I am on tour, I I try to do things like push-ups or squats with no weights or anything. I may do one training here and there on the gym around, you know, the place we're gonna play. But besides that, I, I really don't train. I try to take some break because I rarely take breaks during the year yeah. so for me touring is like a rest time from lifting weights I have my uh, 
my body recover. Yeah, that's the smart. I, I remember when we were recording the album last summer in the cabin, and every day you were just throwing huge stones and carrying them around the cabin. In the, <laughs> I had to do something. I had to do something. Uh, what is what is your goal as a strongman? My goal as a strongman is I try to get a little bit better every year. Now, in a few days, there's going to be the second year of the competition that I take, took part last year. I want to bring the trophy again. But, yeah, back. I was just, that was my whole point. Is Wolfhard going to win any more medals? That's we, we, are, we are, yes. <laughs> I, I would love to go out and compete, on a, yeah. not in a bigger, but I would like to travel and go yeah. in, in a bigger weight competition. That would be really nice. Uh, I would like to do something like that, but I don't think I will get the time yeah. ever. Sure I won't. We'll see how it goes with yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you for watching. This was Wolfhard about strongman and playing. And uh, lift heavy and play heavy.